Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Twilight Princess. I am Shadow Productions, and in the last episode, um, well, at the end of the last episode, I kind of forgot what to do, sort of. I was getting a little uh, confused, but I do remember that you need to strike this uh, this pedestal with your master sword in order to um, unlock the way forward. Kind of reminiscent of Ocarina of Time, where you go back in time and be a kid. But um, speaking of Ocarina of Time, 3DS. The 3DS version is coming out tomorrow. Assuming that I'm uploading this today, which I better. I don't know. I should, unless my fucking internet connection fucks me over. Because it tends to do that sometimes. And there's the warp I was talking about. See, I knew there was a warp here. I knew there was one eventually. Just forgot that you had to put your master sword back first. The yeah, Ocarina of Time 3DS is coming out tomorrow. I'm extremely pumped because I'm most likely actually going to get it tomorrow. Usually I don't, like, I don't, I don't know. I do sometimes, but, okay, fucking like that's pissing me off. Usually I don't get games, like, the day they come out. I'm not partic that particularly hardcore, but for Ocarina of Time, I can make an exception, especially since my parents are probably going to be out, so you know what. I'll just, you know what, I'll, I'll just make them pick it up while they're out. <laughs> and, oh my god, this is... Why is this taking so much longer than it usually does? Because these fucking keys think they're tough. I am to kill all these keys first. And... Done? Okay, they're done. This is actually one of the last times we have to fight these guys. And there are a shitload of them. Usually there aren't like five. There's only like three or four. Well, that took a little longer. And now we can come back here whenever we want. That would have been a little more useful if we got it the first time when we actually got the Master Sword, as opposed to now. We don't ever really need to come back here, but whatever. I guess it's better late than never. Oh, that's my general, uh, my general, uh, fuck, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. That's usually, uh, how I roll when I upload, like, you know, I miss a few days here and there, but... Better uploading late than never, but um, yeah, I've had finals all this week, or yeah, all of this week. So um, I think I missed a few days here and there. That was mainly because finals, and shit like that. But um, yeah. And speaking of missing shit, um, oh wait, I probably shouldn't spoil the moment. We're walking into a very nostalgic area right here, Temple of Time. A little different, a little different from its Ocarina of Time um, appearance, but um, I'm not going to complain. I know some people will, I know some people will probably be like, ah, this looks nothing like Ocarina of Time, but you know what, you calm down. At least it's the same music, I think, if I remember correctly, because I can't hear anything right now. Um, and we're going to walk into this wonderful room with this wonderful pedestal. Nostalgia, oh, oh. nostalgia yet again. We're gonna stab the sword into the pedestal. Huh. Except instead of going back in time, we're gonna create a magical stairway, and this window is just gonna disintegrate. I think. No. Okay. Oh, well, I just ruined it for you. There's Uku. So we don't actually have to find him. I think he just kind of waits for us at the doorway, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And yes, when you, once you get close to this door, it disintegrates, and it leads you into, like, a much bigger section of the Temple of Time. Oh, no. I figured they were, would be... No, I was thinking of something else. I thought this was the dungeon where they're just kind of waiting at the entrance for you, and then you meet up with them, but I was wrong. That's probably uh, the next dungeon. I'm not really going to spoil anything about that. Um, hmm. Okay, no more cutscenes, thank you. Alright, so here we are in the Temple of Time. It's actually a dungeon in this game, which is pretty interesting. Um, Kevin, don't you think there's something odd about that statue? In the grove and in the temple entry, there were always matching ones on each side, but there's only one here. Why don't you use your senses to take a look around? That's a great idea, Amanda. 
maybe I can cook the patties, and do the dishes, and wear square pants, and live in a pineapple, while you wait in the unemployment line! <coughs> okay, but seriously, I fit a coughing there. But yeah, the main concept of this dungeon will be basically to uh, bring a statue back there in order to open up that door. Um, and that will pretty much lead us to our boss. Um, but this dungeon overall is pretty linear and easy. You visit um, a lot of the rooms twice. Oh wait, you do find Uku at the beginning. Er, not so fast. At last, this is it. This is where I've been trying to get to. The ancient technology of our people sleeps in this place. We've searched all over, and now we're so close, I can smell it! Once we find that thing, we can go home at last. Oh gracious, yes. Hmm, young man. We're so close, so please help us find what we're looking for. Yes, we reunited with the Uku, and that's wonderful. Um, so, this is the second to last dungeon where we'll be seeing Uku. This is a locked door, that's great. I was totally looking forward to needing to find a key this early on. Damn, I don't know how to do this puzzle. This is pretty tough. I better ask Minda for help. Ugh, just light these torches, and I'm gonna look like an ass if the torch just the key doesn't appear. Please have a key inside. Okay, good. Let's get a little work. But, um... <clears throat> Yeah, as I was saying before, before we entered the whole Temple of Time thing, um, I probably, there's gonna be like a one week period sometime over the summer, probably in early July, where I'm just not going to be able to upload, um, because I have to get my wisdom teeth removed, and that's not gonna be fun. I hear it's pretty painful, and you aren't able to open, open your mouth or some shit like that. I don't really know how much of that is true and how much of it is just people bitching, because believe me, I deal with people who bitch over stupid shit all the time, so I don't know how bad it really is, but there's a good chance that I'm when I get my wisdom teeth removed, I'm not going to be able to um, do any recording for at least a few days, so um, yeah, just watch out for that. I'll probably let you know, but um figured I'd just warn you in advance. Um, wait, this, that switch opens this gate and closes that gate. So, if we take an arrow and we shoot the pot and break it, we should be able to move. Okay, cool. A cool! Alright. And so, oh, hello. Damn. But, um, oh yeah, and speaking of missing, uh, weeks of recording, I'm probably gonna go on vacation soon. So, there's that week, too. Um, so two weeks of me just not... Oh, damn. Why were you at the... I wish... I did not know you could do that. Apparently, if you press A after you kill an enemy or something like that, you get to twirl your sword around and sheathe it. All badass and whatnot. I did not know that. I feel stupid. That's definitely something most people would probably have picked up on. But not me. So I'm just retarded. But yeah, you can just kill that guy by shooting an arrow in his back. And for killing them, you get... Well, let's see what we get. I don't know, probably the map. I'm guessing. Yep. And this dungeon has, like, how many floors? Like... 18. Not really 18, though. That'd be a little excessive. It has 8 floors, but most of them aren't too big. And there's really not a, di a lot of, not a lot of, uh, diverging paths or anything. They're all pretty, uh, straightforward. Um, like I said, it's a very linear dungeon. You shouldn't really have any trouble with it. Um, and the dungeon item is pretty unique, even though <laughs> right after the dungeon ends, you just become useless. Like, literally, you can't use it. Fuck you. Okay, well, there's these guys over here. Also, there's a lot of, uh, dropping things on switches in this dungeon if you haven't already picked up on it. But yeah, after this dungeon ends, like, you literally can't use the dungeon item. Like, it just stops working for some stupid fucking reason. Because Miyamoto just felt the need to make you go on this long-ass, pointless side quest. For no fucking reason. 
but maybe I'm just bitching. And in this room, I think we've got Ho. Oh, yeah, I think there's a Ho oh, in this room. Like behind that, yep, right behind that gate. But can we get to it yet? I'm not sure if we can. I think we might have to come back later with our dungeon item. Because we cannot get rid of this gate as a normal link. And I don't think there are any, uh. I don't think there are any switches that can open the gate. Or that one. Finally. But, um. Yeah, so we'll have to come back for that for later. I better just remember that it's there. This fucking jet. Ugh. Um. I think you're just supposed to. Kill all these. Guys. No. Well, actually, I could just lower down from up there. I don't know, because sometimes I just shoot them from outside the electric fence, and then I come back later and realize, oh, well, we're just gonna go down that elevator, and I could have killed them all with my sword. I just wasted so much fucking time sniping all these spiders individually. And that's another thing about this dungeon. It's got a uh, something of a spider theme to it. Um, I don't know, it's got like a bunch of spider enemies and stuff if you have if you haven't noticed. And if, even if you don't not notice, um, by the time the dungeon ends, you'll definitely notice when you're fighting the boss. Um, not to spoil anything. But um yeah, there are a lot of spiders in this dungeon. So I can't imagine that Paper Mario guy is too particularly fond of this dungeon. Um But yes. Fucking Lots and lots of spiders. Now, this elevator is... I hate elevators like this overall, because I don't know which way I'm supposed to push them to get it to go which way. And then I end up pushing it the wrong way, and then you go up, and you're trying to go down, and then you gotta wait for it to stop, and then you gotta move it. It's fucking annoying. But yes, this is how you get down here, in the area with all the spiders, and we're gonna need this to weigh down another switch, because that's all you fucking do in this dungeon, is weigh down shit with giant... with, uh... Pots and statues and shit. And all these gross ass larva spider things. I don't know. But they're tiny and numerous. They're in big groups. And then you got those average sized black spider things. And then you have sculptulas. I don't know if there are any sculptures in this dungeon actually. And then you just got the giant fucking boss, which is. Yeah. I guess it's just bleh. Bleh. Oh, I don't know. And then there's just those little guys. I don't know, they don't even need to be here. Get them all! Fucking exterminator. Alright, well, that... Yep, that's it. Now, what's the point of getting rid of that gate? It's probably because we need, like, another pot or something. I'm guessing that's what it's Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna grab this breakable one. I don't see any of those, uh, you know, non breakable. Oh, you get. You're. You. You're, you're dying for that. Okay. I guess I just have to grab one of these. I mean, there are those up there, but I really don't think we can get to them right now. We could if it was later on in the dungeon and we had the dungeon item, but no. No! Alright, so moving on. I'm gonna grab this pub. We got two now. I think we need two. We need two to, uh. Wait, I, this better be what we need to do. Otherwise, I'm just gonna be. I'm gonna look completely retarded. Okay. Well, there's only one way we can go now. So it's not too bad. Yep. Okay. Couldn't have. Couldn't have possibly fucked that up. Um, and that's a locked door. And we do not have a key. I don't like that. Okay. That's probably where we need to go. If you, Link, please don't tell me I, you can't climb this. Link, Link. 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 No, no, I, I'm not going back down there. I'm not going back down there. Nope. Not happening. Link, you're going to knock this off with your racket. Right okay. I will, I'll make a cut if necessary. I'm not, I'm not going back down there. I refuse. Yes! Fuck yeah! Oh my god! That took way longer than it would have been. Don't tell me I broke that pot while I was doing that. Fuck! Well, I guess we'll just go. Okay, you better move on, Spinner. Well, I 
gas, so I'll just bring this pot thing. Not even, it's not even a pot. I'm just gonna bring this this, this statue over here. I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna switch, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go back down. It's gonna be okay. Or there could be one right here. Mega Man X6! Ugh, god damn it. That's my message to you all. I I hate Mega Man X6. Fuck that. Dude. Moving on. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let that go. I'm just gonna completely ignore what just happened, and I'm gonna move on, and I'm not going to rage at all. And there's a heart piece in this room. And there are also a couple of monsters here and there. Except they're easy as fuck, because you just have to go behind them and shoot them in the back with an arrow. Kind of hard to do when you're Z-targeting onto them, though. Okay, you know what? Or, or you can even, like, walk up... I don't even know why I'm using arrows. You can just walk up behind them and use your sword. You can even use that one technique, the back slice, which I probably should have shown off sooner. Because this is, like, a perfect example of an enemy that's designed for you to use the back slice against. Um, except backslice is a pretty solid technique. Except the only thing is, if you're not like the right distance away from the enemy, you'll you'll either circle all the way around him, or you'll just not you'll not even circle around him. You'll just kind of go to the side and horizontal line. So you gotta get the just the right distance from your enemy for it to be effective. That's what I've found in my experience, anyway. Um, and there's a heart piece in this room that we can get later on with the dungeon ending, but we could actually get it early if I'm just fucking incredible and I can do this, or if I feel like sitting here for two hours and hitting this with a wrecking ball, which I don't, I'm not gonna do that, I assure you, I will not do that, but if I can get this my first try, then, you know, why not? So... Okay, well... As soon as I get it onto that wall, if it doesn't land onto the switch, there's pretty much nothing I can do, but I'll try throwing it a few times. I'll give it a few throws and see if I can make it up there. Alright, fuck doing that. I mean, if you could just throw that over the gate and get it on the switch and do that for both of them, go right ahead. Be my guest. That's fantastic. I'm not fucking doing that shit right now. Because you have to get it just the right angle. And yeah, no, I'm not doing it. Not happening not worth wasting all that time and I can just come back later with the dungeon item and do it in like two seconds so I guess not really worth it. moving on and I think we're gonna bring the episode to a close quite soon but um let's see what room is this no I don't know if this is a heart piece room I was gonna say we could end this episode on a very triumphant note by getting a heart piece but I don't think that's the case yeah, let's just slip by no there's a wall in the way Let's kill this asshole first. This guy's just fucking me over in this dungeon. Damn, alright. The main concept of this room is if you hit the switch, the walls... The walls will, uh... Basically change places. I don't know, for some reason it kind of remember, reminds me of, uh... This one room in the Koopa Ninja Bros. Fortress. Uh, we have to, like, hit those switches with the... with Cooper. Uh, yeah, I think it's the same. And it makes all the walls change and move around and shit. I don't know. Not even all that similar. It just kind of reminds me of that. And you have to keep hitting the switch through these uh, conveniently placed holes in the wall. And you'll be able to move on. Well, actually, I think there's a compass in this room. So, I mean, if you consider that a really great achievement, then, uh, <laughs> well, we did it. We got the compass. <laughs> Hands down, hardest item to get in the whole game. I feel so proud of myself right now. It's, it's just unbelievable. So, we're just going to finish up this room, and then I'll end the episode. Line myself up on this conveniently placed circle, telling me exactly where to stand to get the best shot. And now we're going to move on next room so i'm shouty productions thank you very much for watching and nope not yet no oh there's still more to the wait wait a second i 
I smell harpies in this room. Well, <laughs> I mean, no, wait, we can't even get it yet. Never mind. Never mind. We can't get it yet. So I'm sorry. Yeah, I guess I'll just end this episode on a defeated note then. I'm Shadow Productions. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.